Hi, welcome back to Designer for NBS Sharpening Machines. In this video, I am going to show you how to make variable key profiles. First, I need to make sure that I have correctly selected my machine type NBS 300, as you can see here. Next thing are the pictures. My saw blade has a three teeth and I need to open all pictures of each tooth. And then we will resize them separately. So the first one is pitch 22. This picture is actually pretty bad, but I will I will show you how to use some tools to help identify the point of the tooth. So here is the option called drop drawing mode, which helps me to create some lines that we can simply mark the point. Then I need to switch it off. Then I can scroll to get it in detail. And now, like usually, I control and shift. I can click and select the distance between teeth. First one is 22 millimeters, and I will realign the picture. So same thing we do with 26. That one is good enough, so we can just simply click Control Shift 22 realign. 35, open picture, zoom, control and click, shift and click, 35, lay ally, close window. So we have prepared pictures. Now we can focus on shape. We will use again shape 8 that we can change all parameters so that we can easily understand which picture belongs to which part. I will name the teeth. So let's say my program 8 1 will be teeth 22. Start my new proportion, put pitch 22, then I will have 26, and here 26, and the last one will be T35, pitch 35. And I can go back to pictures and I can use the linking that we can only see the picture which goes together with the right profile. So here is tooth with pitch 22 and in pictures this one is here and I can go link to current tooth. Then I have shape with 26 pitch, go back to pictures, this is the picture, link to current. Then the last one is 35, it's my program 8.3, so again 
link to parent group. So here is also written which one is connected to the profile. So now once I will be changing feed, it will display the picture. So this is the smallest one, 22. So I need to adjust it, but it's not so good. So we can use let's start with the last one. So let's say this biggest one is the best quality of picture, so we can start with this one. So I can check if I have correctly set the profile of the stone. So I'm changing radius now. Then I can go back to my profile. I will need to adjust it. Start with the back angle right here, place angle. This length that is good. Here we use the gap. We need to change this radius one a little bit. Base length. More base length. This one needs to be bigger at the end. Now we will use the gap. More or less like this. And we have done the first profile. So now what I need to do is copy all these parameters, including the grinding parameters. And I can go for a small pitch. I can just paste what I've done. So this will save a little bit my work. And I will just change the H B twenty six and I will make the gap smaller. So I need to play with this a little bit to get it fixed. Okay, so here is a little mistake. So once we at the right size, it's okay now. So I will so it's a little bit bigger. That I'm trying to keep the same because for Vario is better if all are on the same level, at least for the programming is good. If not, then each tooth can be separate, but the program is better set up for the tooth which has the minimum depth.
in order to have the finger in the correct position. So let me finish this last pieces of the tooth. Let's say like, like this. <clears throat> then again, you can copy and paste for this first one. So this one is real bad, but I can just. Get the raw profile just to show you how it's done. So this gap will be almost zero here. Stitch twenty two. Okay. Almost there. Let's say roughly like this. So now we have all teeth. Another tip, if you want to see how it's going to profile, you go to options and you can play the animation to see how the stone is fitting profile if there is no collision if the angle is good so on here you can see that was close to the edge so maybe needs to be changed in this part of stone to get better results so it's just for the demonstration so now we have all teeth ready and we can go to Wario and here is shape one so plus shape two shape three so here you can see the smallest pitch middle and the big one you can rearrange them <coughs> according to the real look of the blade and especially for the operator you need to start with one which you can easily recognize so I would recommend to put the first 35 because this you can easily see and then again is 22, 26, and then again with the big one. So this is the Vario. Let's say my blade has a 30 groups like this. So it has 90 teeth in total. And this is the whole setup. <coughs> now, it's been a lot of work, so I would like to save my work. So I can go save to Vario Tooth. So here I can put so name. Usually it's better that you can do some description so that it's clear what's there. So this VPAR file actually. It holds all profiles which are used in Vario, so it's one file and when you want to come back to it, you don't have to do any other operations. I can again go to print Vario, but this is just for 
storing like documents because the Vario, if you want to get into machine, it must be done only through the CNC code. So the work is done and if you want to use the Vario in machine, you must create Vario CNC. Here you choose the number of program. I can also put the name like my Vario. This will be the number of program 901. File, save, Vario 2. Okay. And it will create this file. This file you need to put on USB drive and put into machine. Another option when we have the machine connected, it can be sent directly from this menu. This I am going to show you in one of the following videos. Thank you for watching.